Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the Creative XFi Entertainment Mode. Let's begin. I may sound a little slow when I'm doing this video because while in the Entertainment Mode, I have a delay in hearing myself when I speak. So I might sound a little funny. I hope you uh, can appreciate that and, uh, and not uh, let that affect um, your listening here. Um, you'll see the console here and how you access that is that you have the creative console launcher and you would double click on that icon in order to get to the uh, entertain I mean to the creative console. Um, if for some reason it goes to some other mode other than this just click on the mode button and click on the uh, entertainment mode and click OK. Make sure that this box that says launch console if the console is installed um, has a check mark next to it. And be careful not to click anywhere around it because it will uncheck that and you don't want that to happen. OK, uh, let's talk about the console here, OK, for the entertainment mode. It's obvious what the middle button does. Hold down the left mouse on it, move it around. That'll adjust your master volume coming out of your headphones or speakers. Uh, right below that, a mute button. If you click on that, the speaker icon next to it will have a red X mark in it and it will mute anything coming to you. Okay. And then you have your bass and treble controls. It's obvious what they do. Uh, you uh, use them the same way, same way. Uh, just uh, uh, hold the left mouse button on the knob and, and move the mouse around to uh, move the knobs around. Okay, and then you have your default uh, button here. Um, and this will reset your settings to default if you click on this. Okay, and it uh, will have a check mark if you were to do so. All right, now let's talk about what each of these icons do here. Okay, the first one is speakers and headphones. The second icon is your EAX or audio effects, which is coming out to your speakers. Um, the, uh, you have a 3D effects, which is third icon coming out to your speakers. Fourth is for crystallization makes things sharper and crisper and clearer more of a live sound coming out to your speakers the fifth icon here is smart volume management svm what that does is it keeps the uh, audio all at the uh, same listening volume um, and uh, that's what that uh, svm features for the sixth icon is your graphic equalization, or your equalizer, and you can adjust that for how you want to listen to the sound coming out to your speakers or headphones. The uh, seventh icon is your mixer. This is very much how it would be in Windows where you have your uh, line in and your speaker uh, controls and such. Um, the eighth icon is for your Dolby settings. The ninth icon is for your DTS settings or digital settings. And, uh, excuse me, the DTS settings. And the tenth icon is for your digital settings themselves. If you're using um, some sort of uh, uh, connection to uh, equipment uh, via an optical cable or digital cable. Okay, uh, so that's what that uh, uh, icon is for. So let's talk about the first icon, speakers and headphones. You click on that, and you have your speakers and headphone selections. Um, you choose your speakers accordingly. And there's a box here that says synchronize with the control panel. If you click on that box, uh, that will synchronize your settings here with anywhere in the console whether you're in entertainment mode, whether you're in audio creation mode, or whether uh, you're in game mode, okay? 
and um, you have a setting here that says when headphone is connected automatically enable the headphone settings or automatically mute speakers you can set that accordingly to your situation and uh, you got some buttons here for sending test sounds uh, to your speakers and how you have them configured. So it'll either send a, a speaking test or it'll send a noise test. Okay, back to the main display. Just click on this uh, left arrow button here to get back to main display. Let's go to the EAX effects. And this is where you can set your EAX effects uh, that come out to your speakers or headphones and uh, the amount uh, or the volume of that effects. And uh, we got several options here. You choose them to your choice. Go back to main display and let's click on the XFI CMSS your 3D settings and you can uh, select this accordingly and you can select uh, how much of this effect you want to come out to your speakers and whether you want to expand a stereo or have a stereo surround sound in my situation i got uh, four speakers that i use so i chose to use the uh, surround sound but i'm not using more than what i would normally hear so um, i'm just happy with that you can select this how you like it go back to main display uh, click on the fourth icon, the X5 Crystallizer, and um, this is going to make things sharper and clearer and more punchier, more live. So if you like a live sound, go ahead and uh, enable this feature, and, uh, and then you can set the amount of crystallization that you want. You can play with this and hear how it sounds. Let's go back to the main display. And let's go to the Smart Volume Management icon, the fifth icon. And what this is going to do is uh, it's going to make the sound level all the same. And for some applications, this may, may be okay. But uh, being a musician, I know that I wouldn't want to listen to music all at the same volume. There's some things you want to listen to softly and some things that are loud. And so I like the musicians to make those decisions. And so I keep this setting off. But you can turn it on if you like and hear how it uh, sounds for you. I'll go back to the main display. The uh, sixth icon is your graphic equalization. And uh, to enable it, make sure you click this box here where it says enable EQ. And you can set your equalization accordingly. And how much equalization is applied? Now remember, this is coming out to your speakers or headphones, okay? And um, you can choose from a preset of how uh, creatives have their presets. Or once you set your settings, you can save them by clicking the uh, little icon that looks like a floppy disk and the word save. And you type in what you want to save. And you click OK. If the same preset's already there, you're going to have this little box. And you just click yes or no, whatever you like to do. Now, if you want to delete it, there's an X mark here icon. Click on the X and it will delete the preset. It will not delete the factory presets, however. Okay, so you're always safe there. Okay, go back to the main display. And the uh, seventh icon here is a mixer. Go ahead and click on that. And this is very similar to what you would see in your Windows playback controls. Okay, you can see it's going to vary by system. You're going to have wave, you got auxiliary input, MIDI. Uh, inputs whether they're physical or virtual, uh, CD, DVD players, a microphone input, line input, and um, for your line input, you can choose your source option. 
And so you can choose whatever you want for your source option, where it's your microphone, auxiliary, MIDI, digital in, what you hear or wave. Okay. And uh, you'll see on the bottom of these sliders, you know, that as you can adjust the uh, volume input on them, um, you can mute them too. And if you have them muted, uh, there will be a red X mark accordingly. Okay. And if you, in the microphone and line in sections, if you click on the source option, this will tell you what, uh, what the option is on the input. Okay. And you'll see on the top of the microphone, there's a little plus. And if you click on that, that'll tell you how much boost there is. Okay, if you got any microphone boost. Okay, go back to the main display. The eighth icon is for your Dolby. Okay, and if you have a component system or a receiver that's Dolby and you have... A Using that, you can use this feature here to set the uh, Dolby Digital Bitstream uh, output. Uh, otherwise, you use the uh, built-in decoder, and you can choose how much dynamic range you want from that. This is just something to play with so you can hear the differences and your Dolby Pro settings here. And then you can choose um, your speaker mapping uh, for the Dolby and I have the side and rear speakers. Okay, so let's go back to the main display. And the ninth icon is your DTS icon. And uh, this is, uh, again, your settings here, whether you bit stream out or use the built-in uh, decoder, uh, your side or rear speakers, or both of them. And... Uh, six one dot or dot yeah six dot one uh mapping or decoding for five one uh, five dot one channel soundtracks so that's something to play with to hear the different sound sounds and last but not least is your tenth icon the digital i o and this is where your frequency setting is set for uh playback and um your bit matching um, if you're using that feature which I wasn't so this is um, goes hand in hand to these two right here between the DTS and the Dolby since I'm not using the bit stream out I'm not going to use the bit stream out here either and I'm not using any digital uh, external digital equipment so I don't need to worry about this but what this should be set to here your digital output sampling rate um, typically it should be either be it should be 48 kilohertz you can try 96 if it works for you great most people it will but I just have it set to 98 and 48 because I want to <laughs> okay and we go back to the main s setting here and this concludes the uh, tutorial on the uh, entertainment mode. And I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for listening.